Gwen from V180 on Vision Christian Radio and this is day 10 of the 25 days of Christmas. Stay tuned. Matthew 1 verses 18 to 25. Over the past century, the world has witnessed the most amazing technological advances in all of history. Advances that have forever changed the way we live. Perhaps no invention in the past hundred years has had a greater impact on civilization than that of the radio. For the first time, there was a way to communicate with millions of people at once, even from thousands of miles away. Nearly every home in America had a radio, and as more and more networks competed for listeners, the words, don't touch the dial, were frequently heard between programs, encouraging listeners not to change the station during the commercial break, but to hang on for a few more minutes to hear whatever exciting show was up next. Today, we understand why those networks were concerned that people would change the station so quickly. Our society has a really short attention span. If we don't like one show, there are 10 others to try. If things aren't working out with one spouse, we feel increasingly free to cut our losses and try again with someone else. This short attention span can have devastating consequences in our spiritual life. When life is hard and God doesn't seem to be doing anything about it, the temptation to turn the dial away from God and from his word can be overwhelming. Joseph had a moment of temptation just like this. We're told he was just a man, a description that means he was a student of the Hebrew scriptures. Suddenly, this righteous, godly man found himself betrothed to a girl who was pregnant with someone else's baby. Joseph was ready to change the station on this program. Matthew tells us that Joseph had made up his mind to break his engagement, but God spoke to him out of the blue, telling him that Mary's baby was from the Holy Spirit and that he shouldn't be afraid to marry her. In other words, God told him, don't touch that dial. Now, we might think God could have saved Joseph some time and worry simply by giving Joseph a little more advance notice. Instead, God didn't speak up until Joseph had concluded that there was nothing to do but change channels on his life. I believe God sometimes waits to speak in order to toughen our faith and strengthen our dependence on him. The time Joseph must have spent praying to God for wisdom surely drew him closer to God and strengthened his faith, even if God chose not to answer right away. Joseph hadn't planned on raising a baby that wasn't his, but because he didn't change the station, he became the earthly father of the Son of God. When life is hard and you are thinking about giving up on the church, on a relationship, on prayer, on God, or on yourself, don't touch that dial. God still speaks at exactly the right moment to keep us tuned into him and his perfect plan for our lives. As Mary and Joseph would attest, we can be part of miraculous things when we stay tuned.